Hi Aries, it's L here to do a quick reading, a different reading, um, just a set of questions that most Aries people who request personal readings have e either hinted toward, actually asked the question, some of it's been channeled by spirit. So it's about six questions, it's five for you guys. Um, and maybe your question that you have for yourself is here. So let's let's get started. So the first question, um, most Aries people who request a reading, they want to know, is love coming in for me? So let's see if love is coming in for Aries. I know it's a little dark, but um, I don't want to turn on the light. So. Is love coming in for Aries? Let's see what cards do we have for Aries? Thank you, Lord God, for blessing these cards. The messages for Aries. Oh, oh, wow, six of wands bottom of that pile ten of wands the bottom of that pile we won't take those because they're already turned over if they come back out then we know it's significant okay bottom of the deck wow four of wands yeah relationship stability building upon something um, stable your energy Aries Sagittarius Leo you could be dealing with another fire sign or another fire sign could come in for you um, let's see nine of swords some of you have high heavy anxiety about this happening for you will it happen for me is love coming in trying to figure out what's wrong with you eight of wands in reverse it's, it may not be happening as quickly as possible you may have a significant person who you want to communicate with. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Communication may be blocked. It may be causing some anxiety either for you or the, another party. Wow, but the Nine of Cups, it looks like you get what you want. Maybe in the midst of blocking or cutting out or cutting off access to you fill in the blank. You then get what you want. Wish fulfilled. The Four of Wands. So love is here, or it's coming. It may be delayed, but a wish fulfilled is here. There may be some work, inner work you need to do for yourself, maybe in regards to your mental and how you look at things and how you look at relationships. Um, maybe in regards to, I'm here moving too fast. Okay. So yes, the answer is yes, love is coming in. The next question is, I get okay don't beat me up but these are just questions that I get will he leave her or him for me so somebody wants to know will another person leave uh, their I guess significant other for for Aries will he leave her or him for me These aren't questions we like to speak out loud because, you know, no one, you know, in their heart, no good person, I would say, this is my personal opinion, really wants to break up any connection or be a homewrecker or anything of that nature. But at the same time, um, sometimes this is how we feel. So we don't either, we, we don't either speak it and we try to push it down instead of you know, coming to head with it and, and saying, why do I feel this way? Why would I want him to leave? Or why would I want her to leave this other party? And then sometimes, if you really think about it, you might have good reason. You may have something better to offer. I don't know. You may have a real connection. I don't know your life, but sometimes this is what happens. Will he leave her or him for me? Wow, it's coming out pretty quick. Okay, we'll take them. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Okay. Those were, were turned over. The bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. Someone's going to put some fire behind their emotions. They're going to put action. They're, they're motivated to you fill in the blank. This could be you, Aries, or someone you're dealing with. There might be a lot of sexual chemistry also. These two cards were flipped over in the deck. Page of Swords, Ten of Wands. Someone may be either cutting out something that was been long-standing and burdensome, willingly carrying a burden, whatever that may be. The end is here. Okay, let's see. Knight of Cups. Will he leave her or him for me? Ace of Cups. Wow. Six of Cups. Wow. Queen of Wands. This person could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They're, what did I tell you? They're going to put action behind the emotions that they have for you. There's love here. There's chemistry. Somebody feels as if you're a soulmate. Someone is cutting out. Maybe a younger Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces. I mean, everybody. Well, everyone isn't here, but you choose which sign. It looks like this is a yes answer. They're trying to um, offer you their cup of emotion. I want to invest in you, with you emotionally. There's love here. I see the blessing that is Aries. You guys could have been dealing with each other six or more months, six or more years. There might be children involved. There, there's a soulmate connection. There are fond memories. They they can't do away with them. So it looks like yes. So yes, answer he or she will leave the other party. Is it won't be without you know a struggle because when you get yourself in that ten of wands energy, anyhow. Um, Yes, it was over time you're willingly doing it and now you're willingly saying to another party that I want to lay it down well why would you do that you've been carrying it so long so, so whoever you're dealing with whatever they're trying to come out of it's not going to be without struggle okay next question um, will my business grow get that a lot or will I start the business? Or will my business grow? We'll try to couple both of those questions in. Will my business grow? Aries wants to know will their business grow? Should they start the business? Will their business grow? Hermit under the deck. You might need to go within and see how you can reform, reshape, restructure. Think about the things you've done in, in the past in regards to business, career, finance. Um, see where there's room for improvement. The Hermit looks at past experience so that they, they can then come out of that introspective, reflective nature and then move by way of gaining clarity, light, by being reflective also you know when you're doing self-reflection um spirit will help you you know illuminate things to you so you might need to do that in regards to business career seven of wands yeah you've been working really hard at this really hard with it um don't give up nine of swords wow you really feel at times, got nine of swords again. Like, what should I do? This is despair. This is anxiety. This is, yeah, death card in reverse. Don't give up. Don't end it. You need to figure out how to transform this. The four of swords in reverse. Yeah, don't. Maybe this is what you're not doing. You're not being reflective about this. 
This also may say don't sit in stagnation do something about it this the high priestess in reverse justice in reverse what's not coming into you is because you're not listening to what's not happening in your business has everything to do with you not listening to your intuition so what's due to you karmically can't come into you something about you gotta, you need to sit with self upright Sit with self. Hermit. Upright. Listen. Meditate. Pray. Don't end it. There's truth and clarity about what's going on. It's going to come to you. Once you do this, then you can have this. So that's where we are with that. Okay. Next question. I get... Um, why can't I let go of him or her? Whoever you come into the world. Some people want to know what the connection is. Why why can't I let go of him or her? let go of him or her what's the connection Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. The Magician. The Eight of Swords. The Ace of Cups. What I firstly thought of is somebody is, somebody has or is, has worked their magic on you. Now this could be that could be literal or that could be actual you know actually doing magic it could be you know it could be figurative or it could be literal you know. somebody is um might be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio this hope this person helps you come out of your head come out of the racing thoughts and helps helps you really sit with your feelings your emotions this person you feel as if this person has the po the power to put things together This could be you too, Aries. Aries, you could be doing some love, juju, magic. I don't know. This is why you, and what I also heard, you manifest this. Now it's like you don't know if you want it. Except with that. That's why you can't get them out of your head. Okay, next question. Why should I? Oh, not Russia. Who should I marry? Who should I marry? Who should I marry? Aries wants to know. Who should they marry? Who? Okay. Some 
of you have choices. Some of the, there's two people. We've got the chariot. The bottom of the cancer. Get in control. And do what's best for you. The chariot carries one. This is self propelling energy. You propel yourself forward. You do what's best for you. And then everything else will fall in line. The five of Wands here is indecision. The two of swords. You don't know which way to go. But things will be illuminated to you with the sun. Maybe in regards to all these options. Someone who creates illusion. Or disillusionment. Or someone who makes you emotionally confused. It might be this cancer person. It might be a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart. It might be a Libra. The answer is whoever makes you emotionally confused and just outright confused, that's the person you should be with. All right, Aries. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Um, know that you can request your own reading just like this you send me a list of questions up to six or less questions um, they'll be answered you can request a video recording or you can request a, a phone reading like this you'll have your list and we'll we'll talk about it um aries know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well all, all of my information is below i hope to hear from you to read for you you know what if you have your own questions you want to ask i'm going to try to keep this series up just put them down in the comment section make sure it's you know pretty clear and i don't need or we the community we don't need eight paragraphs for you to get to one question or we don't need eight paragraphs with eight different questions just you know if you have a question and you feel like it, you want it to be included in a reading like this uh, in a general reading like this um put it down below comment below okay thank you aries take care guys